Hey guys, it's Mapo here once again, and I'm here with my uh, bi-yearly climbing update, something like that, uh, where I put up on my YouTube just a little bit about my climbing life. Recently, we were down at the uh, Boulder Fest, the Queensland Brisbane 2019 Boulder Fest, which is just a big competition for bouldering. And I was there about a week ago for three or four days. It's basically the only time uh, for the past four or five years that I get uh, to myself every year to uh, take off streaming and, you know, um, get to do something a little bit different. So I've gone for the past uh, five or six years and it's something we don't really miss because uh, it's an absolute a lot of fun to do this uh, climbing comp. It's probably the biggest one in Australia and we just hang out, uh, me, my brother and three friends this time around all went together and I uh, just wanted to show you guys all the videos we took and uh, I wanted to go over throughout that uh, every video the type of climb that I'm doing and sort of uh, the moves that I'm trying to do. So without further ado, I believe that's how you say it, uh, going to jump into it. These are all of the videos we took uh, for the entire Brisbane trip. Uh, I've narrowed them down to just, you know, a few of the important ones and I want to show you guys what's going on. So to start with, this right here is what the gym looks like. Uh, it is owned by a certain company that's got like four gyms throughout Brisbane. This is the one they've chosen to hold the actual competition at. And uh, as you can see, there's lots of different colored holds. There's lots of walls to choose from. And uh, it's not the biggest gym, but it is big enough to hold a competition like this one. And um, to go a bit, sorry, that's me, to go a bit over um, what things are like, lots of different colored holds and that just really dictates the uh, difficulty of the problem. The idea is you start on a certain hold, you get to the top of that um, problem, uh, match with both hands and that's finishing a problem. So if um, you are trying to climb Let's have a look back here, specifically just the black holds here. Then you have to start down there, get all the way through these black holds and finish on the last black hold. And uh, the colors dictate the um, sort of difficulty of the climb. Black being almost the hardest climb. Uh, white is actually the hardest, black second hardest. Reds are really quite challenging for us as well, but we can more often than not do the reds. And uh, me and my group, we're typically trying to finish most of the reds and uh, do some of the sort of easier to middle range blacks. And uh, then your top eight climbs get counted towards your overall score. And we're not too bad. We're fairly strong these days, but considering um, I might be top five, 10 in my state for bouldering, instead coming down to this place, it's the biggest boulder comp in Australia. And for the open A's, there's about a hundred people. I came 48th and um, that's about as good as I could possibly hope for and uh, about as good as I've ever done. So not too disappointed in that, but uh, there's a lot of really strong people out there. This is the downstairs basement area. So of that same gym, that's my friend Shota. And this is where you um, get to just uh, do a bit of warm up. There's also a 45 degree wall that has some problems on there and a few gimmick climbs out there too. So we're all just kind of uh, warming up. That's Matt, that's me, that's my brother, and the cameraman is Andrew. That's our entire crew. Shota's just jumping into a bit of um, skipping to get warmed up. This is uh, like 20 minutes before the actual competition start. Everyone's just trying to limber up a bit. You're just doing a bit of hanging around, stretching, and making sure you're ready to go when the comp starts. So just hang around on some bars. You just hang one arm, two arms, do a pull up or two. Just anything that's um, pretty easy that just gets your um, muscles moving. So we're all just doing a bit of that. Plenty of other people doing whatever they feel they need to to warm up. And uh, one of the things we were just messing around with, Shota was like, couldn't do a muscle up because he's never really tried on bars before. And he's probably stronger than me overall. So it's not really a strength thing. It's more of a technique thing. And I have done a few of these just for fun. So I was just kind of flexing on him with a quick muscle up. Because uh, like I said, it's mostly a technique thing. And uh, anyone that can do like five, 10 uh, pull-ups should kind of be able to work their way into a muscle up. We're then just fucking around with some uh, front levers. Front levers are just hanging um, like, you know, horizontally and being able to hold it completely. Both me and my brother, we know we can't do it. Whereas Shota can actually hold a front lever. Unfortunately, don't have a video of that. It's, uh, yeah, the strength to not drop your uh, core and back once you get into that. We can just swing in and swing out, which isn't quite there yet. Um, that's basically what the downstairs is looking like. 
Let me just shrink the cam a bit. And we're all just having a bit of a stretch and all that. That's some of the upstairs once again. Just a photo of that. A bit more of an upstairs photo. That's specifically one of the walls, the one closest to the entrance. There's a tough black problem there, a relatively hard orange problem uh, that just uses volumes which aren't actually holds. They're just, you know, big um, kind of pieces that you can screw other pieces onto, but they're mostly just texture. And then a few easy climbs as well. Uh, we got another picture of everyone just waiting to get started. So they're about to announce the start and then you just jump on. You've got two and a half hours to climb as many things as you can. Top eight being considered for points. Uh, and I think one more. Yep. So just another wall there. As soon as it starts, I'm the first one to jump on and I happen to try and warm up on this thing. So a red isn't that challenging for me if I can figure out the sequence and if I'm strong enough to do it. This is the very first climb I did and uh, tried to figure out just for kind of a warm up, but it was still a little bit challenging. So you start with two hands on the left, you jump across to this piece, try and use the wall to stable yourself, stabilize yourself. That's a pretty shitty hold that's kind of a crimp. You then just splay out to this big one, try and get a back step and finish on the top red piece. It's a pretty nice warm up and I was happy I got that first go because uh, your first climb, your first few climbs at a climbing comp usually full of nerves and, um, you know, a little bit sweaty and a little bit tough to get into. The next thing we did was uh, just kind of a gimmick here. So you start um, with two hands underneath the, um, I don't know, big block and then two feet on that. And that's it. That's the entire thing. You're supposed to just finish by uh, matching and holding that because it's supposed to be some sort of gimmick Game of Thrones Hodor thing. I don't know, didn't really watch that shit. Uh, and that's it, and it's worth a bunch of points. Why not? <laughs> so they do try and fit in some gimmick things that aren't purely climbing. Uh, we then have us trying something else that's also a gimmick, which is just off these campus rungs. So these um, are just rungs that are designed for training that have absolutely no feet involved. And these ones are very thin. They're like, you know, tiny ones. And the idea is you're supposed to go from this to this and then even higher up. But uh, we're not really quite strong enough to pull on these yet. As you can see, they are worth a decent amount of points, but it's a bit weird because uh, that's People that are strong enough to do those just don't need those points because they're looking at the higher climbs for even more points. There's Shota holding the door just fine. And then um, this is my brother trying the uh, big campus thing as well. None of us are really strong enough for it, but we're just messing around seeing if we can do it anyway. Uh, the rungs are just way too small and it Puts a lot of strain in your fingers to try and catch that, and uh, we're definitely not capable of doing it just yet. But um, not too far off. Just needs slightly fatter um, holds, or maybe a little bit more finger strength. But that was that, so no points gained there. We then jumped onto the wall that um, has a black problem, which is a fairly tough one. Took quite a lot of goes for me to get this one down. And the idea behind this one is you have couple of bad feet, a really good big piece, um, a decent piece but not too great, a pretty crap sort of crimpy sloper thing, and then a bad sloper thing as well. And the idea that we kind of figured out is to go right hand up there and at the same time hook your toe into that and you'll be able to lock yourself in. Did take quite a few goes to try and get into that position and uh, that was the theory behind the climb though. So you try and figure out a way of doing it and then you try and, you know, try several times, see if it's what you um, should be doing because maybe you're wrong entirely. But this is the best idea we had for this one and it seemed like what the setters wanted you to do. But it was a pretty tough um, coordination because you definitely have to get both in at once. And uh, it took me something like 20 goes and uh, I'll show you later on that it does actually work out. This is just some of the progress, some of the uh, attempts. You have as many attempts as you want, barring other people wanting to try stuff. You know, there are sometimes lines. That was getting kind of close, but need to do both at once. 
Uh, then Amp just jumped onto what was probably going to be a much easier climb, but still kind of challenging to figure out. These two big orange pieces, a uh, couple of little footers, and then the volumes. So the volumes don't really have any grip on them. You kind of have to just use them in very situational positions. So the idea is to try and um, leverage yourself into the other way and pull onto the other volume. And it's just kind of real finicky body tension type stuff to figure out exactly what you're supposed to do and how to do it. And uh, it did take me a fair bit of energy to get this done, but figured out how I wanted to position myself, pull, push, all of the above, get some feet on, and uh, then stand up a bit and finally get through it. And with some of these climbs, the idea is you have to get right over the top and finish uh, on top of the boulder instead of just touching something. So this is what's called a top out, and uh, you have to go all the way over the top and then you get to climb down on those pretty pink holds. It's basically just an easy ladder. So, topped out, climb back down, and we're finished. Then had another attempt at this one. May have gotten fairly close, I think, this time around. Still just trying to get the coordination going. Let's have a look. Ooh, actually stuck at that time. But the pace is really bad and I wasn't quite sure how I was gonna to proceed to the next piece, so I'm like barely hanging onto it. Finally get a foot up and uh, slap the next piece, which is also really bad, and didn't even get to slap it. So that was like 20 goes from all of us and I finally stuck that move and couldn't really move on, so we were all kinda sad. Um, then got my brother jumping onto a red climb, trying to get some points. Uh, this one's a little bit hard, so it definitely wasn't, you know, a guarantee, but those are some fairly crappy pieces, and uh, just for someone that's a little bit more advanced, they should know what they're doing. It's not, you know, difficult to figure out, it's just do you have the strength to be able to do it, and uh, then get through it. So for people that are just getting onto this sort of level, it's a lot harder because you might not have the strength to figure out what you're supposed to do or just to hold some of these pieces and he gets it down pretty casually pretty easily we then had a kind of a gimmick climb so this is one of the things that it's just worth points but it's not really a climb it's just you know kind of a strength thing or a uh, kind of fun body weight exercise sort of thing so the idea here is you hang from um, the bar you have a medicine ball that you're supposed to put between your feet and then you're supposed to be able to launch this shit. Uh, hold on. We'll fix that up as well. Uh, supposed to be able to, well, try and launch it in between uh, or into the tire. And it's pretty damn hard to actually pull off. Because um, the medicine ball is something like 8 kilos, I reckon. Anywhere from like 8 to 10. It's pretty damn heavy. Uh, the tire is kind of high up and you have to get it into the hole and it's hard to get your momentum going to begin with and uh, also not have the ball slip out of your uh, feet so it was a pretty damn hard thing to do and none of us got it while we were <laughs> while we were messing around um, during the comp I ended up doing it after the comp uh, so when it didn't matter anymore when I was just, you know, messing around afterwards with some other people. Uh, it takes a fair bit of practice and uh, strength to be able to, like, clamp that thing together because it's fairly heavy. Once you start swinging through, the more momentum you have, like, the more it's going to slip out and it, it is pretty damn tough. So I don't think we have an actual clip of anyone finishing it. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of just a fun little novelty that these... Um, comps typically come up with or just random bullshit <laughs> so that one was uh, pretty interesting another fun stupid novelty is this pillar called the totem pole uh, it's just a pillar at the ba uh, at the basement it's like smooth you know painted over concrete and you're supposed to just climb all the way up it with no holds or anything just like kind of slap your way up and um, <laughs> Then you have to get specifically onto these rails, still without using any other holds. And it's really freaking hard. Shota got pretty damn close. He's uh, got a lot of good tension and all that. 
um, but it completely destroyed his energy. Like, after seeing that, I knew that would completely wreck my energy, and I didn't really want to try too hard. So I gave it a shot just to see if I could pull on without much effort, and uh, upon realizing it was going to be just deathly to the top, um, decided not to go in too hard on that one because it'd be kind of a waste when you have an entire comp still to do for the next two hours after that. Uh, another kind of novelty thing, right next to the 45 degree wall is uh, this sort of shit. Uh, hanging down from you know, the ceiling, bunch of ropes with a bunch of uh, pieces, balls and all that. The idea is to go from one end straight up all the way to the other and uh, without using your legs or touching the ground. This is Matt who ends up finishing it. And uh, yeah, it was a pretty good, strong uh, little gimmick climb to do and finish. So that was a, a nice, impressive one. I then um, have one that I posted on Instagram eventually, but this is the 45 degree wall that both me and my brother were trying with a very hard climb. I think it was the one that was worth like the most points out of the ones we ended up doing. And uh, it's on a 45 degree wall, so it's on a complete slant. and it's just these black tagged holds. So it took us something like 20 goes to really get anywhere. We were kind of just sequencing it, uh, trying to figure out what the moves were, falling pretty early on quite often. So just trying to figure out how you want to grab it, where you want to have your feet, <laughs> your arms, um, which pieces exactly you want to be touching. It's all the ones with the black tags and it's supposed to go through here and around and all the way up to the left. And um, this is me having another pretty solid attempt, but didn't get too far. Going for that piece, that was maybe a mistake, or it was fine, but I didn't quite move on well enough after that. They hit that, and slipped off. Didn't get the good part of that hold. Still trying to figure out how we want to get through it. Uh, I think the next attempt gonna be my brother trying it again so seeing what we learned and then applying that and uh, well hopefully progressing all the while you are potentially burning a lot of energy so you got to be smart about your attempts and whether or not it's even worth doing and uh, I decided it was worth doing just because it's a lot of fun but it um, did burn a lot of energy in the end uh, before the actual attempt where I finish we got another kind of gimmick climb now this one is just pure roof with pinches on top and all you do is go from one pinch to the next which is a very strong thing to do only our friend Shota could do it out of all of us and you've also got to have this big um, gym ball in between your legs throughout the entire time so you just go from one end to the other starting over there but once again it's a lot um, <laughs> Sorry, once again, it's a lot of energy and uh, it's also for very strong um, pinches. And um, I think I could have got through a few of those, but I didn't really want to commit too much more energy because I was still working on the 45 climb at the time. And I believe this is the resulting um, finish for that climb. So we started on this black piece. We figured out the exact sequence we want to do and I had to go in on it and well just commit to the entire climb so i already knew what pieces i wanted how i wanted to do it and uh, it is definitely not the intended way they wanted you to do it i think we kind of went a slightly easier route but it's still a very hard climb and i'd give it like a v6 or a v7 and for me to finish that on the day i thought that was actually pretty damn um well i was happy with it let's say kind of proud yeah that's it Finally hit the last piece. It's very bad. I'm trying to find somewhere to put a foot so I can match it yeah. for the finish. And that's exactly what ended up happening. So I only got two fingers onto it. Had to get my other hand to match on top of it and just hold those fingers down and call that a finish. It was pretty goddamn rough. Uh, we then have Shota trying to do that pinch one again, and I think he actually finishes it this time around. So let's get it shown. Wabam. Oh, goddamn. Uh, bam. 
We're gonna rotate again real quick, and there we go. He does it really strong. Like none none of the rest of us could do it. Um, could be able to pinch off of this that well, and especially being able to move to the next hold and the next hold. And now uh, you're supposed to then match on that last rail, and then hopefully <laughs> chuck the ball in between a couple of pikes that were just um, at the end, which didn't really mean anything. He got the points for finishing what he already did there. Um, we then have a run and jump. This is called a dyno. Anything that's uh, dynamic is called a dyno like this. And you're supposed to run onto the box, jump, and hit two hands onto this big black piece. It's worth a fair amount of points, and I managed to get it um, on my first go. Run, jump, now. And then the idea is to get two hands to finish onto this piece, which is absolutely nothing. There's like no good you know, hold on that piece. So you have to be well balanced on your feet, on your legs, um, however you choose to do it, and get two hands onto it. So it took me a while to kind of figure out how I want to do that, because you're very, like, tenuously balanced there. And in the end, I go for the grab around this volume here to balance myself a bit further up and get the match. And that's just, um, yeah. Pretty happy with that send as well. It was the first attempt, which is called a flash. And that is for a shorter individual as well. Uh, we then have a pretty hard climb that's in the corner, sort of. Actually, no, wait, this is the red one. This one isn't super hard, it's kinda hard, but for someone of our level, it's not as bad because they're good holds and you typically know how to climb this type of thing. You can figure it out pretty quickly and uh, it's just kind of a bit tiring. So we're doing it to um, fill out the points a bit and it's worth a fair amount uh, because it is kind of a hard one for a red. So you've got to make sure you're using your toe hooks, your heel hooks, grabbing the right pieces in the right spots and uh, it's just kind of a strong um, sand for this level of points anyway. And by this point, I've already finished that uh, 45 degree problem. That took a lot of energy out of me. I'm starting to kind of get tired, so some of the better holds that are pretty damn good are already starting to feel fairly bad. And that is a um, something you have to manage while actually doing these comps. Where things just feel bad after a while when you get tired. Things that you originally could grip, you can't anymore. Now this here is one of the highest rated climbs we did as well. It's just these orange pieces. You have one little footer, you got another little footer that you grab with your hand and uh, you got to finish up here. So it's called a slab because it's just basically flat wall and uh, you have to do some very hard tensiony stuff and very tough positioning to get to the top, match it and not fall down. My first attempt here was pretty damn bad. Couldn't really get very far. And um, eventually, Let's get into the same one. Eventually, after a few more goes, it took me a while to figure out exactly how I wanted to do it. Uh, I did actually get the send on this one, and it was worth quite a lot of points, so I was very happy to get this one as well. But, once again, pretty fatiguing. And it's also very scary to go up um, onto these types of um, climbs because your feet are terrible, and you run the risk of you know slipping and then just like grazing down the climb at any moment. Your hands, your you know, actual grips don't exist either. It's all just like tension and skin. Um, well, yeah, tension. Tension? Is that the word I'm looking for? Skin, grip, something like that. It's like slow, methodical, got to get your feet in the right places, got to really push and pull and all that sort of stuff. Got it all the way up there, got the match. And it's worth quite a lot of points to get that one in. So I was pretty happy with that. Uh, I think another couple of us finished that too. Then had a red one, so worth a bit less than the black once again. It's all crimpy, just like really tiny holds, but pretty simple for, you know, people that can crimp this sort of stuff or have the strength for this one. So I was just trying to lock it in for a few extra points as part of my eight climbs. Uh, like I said, by this point I was starting to feel pretty tired, so even though I should be able to get these fairly easily and um, just confidently, 
I was starting to waver a little bit and it was getting pretty tough to, uh, you know, be confident and lock in the right moves and the right holds. And uh, it was a little bit scary to the top. Wasn't quite sure I'd be able to finish grabbing it. And then the last piece is very good. You just go for a grab, get it, match, fall very happily. But all of those pieces are tiny. They're just little edges. You've got to know what you're doing and be strong enough to grab them. After that, had another big attempt on a pretty tough um, black climb in the cave. So this is all, you know, very steep stuff as well. Um, it's a fairly long climb and it's got some pretty crappy pieces and I was just too tired to really be able to get through this sort of thing. Uh, even though I think, yeah, this is definitely one I should be able to do and could have done when fresh. It was about figuring out the holds and the problems and I couldn't really figure it out while I was tired. And um, yeah, there just wasn't really any way I was going to send this one. Uh, my brother did end up sending this one. He's got much better endurance than I do and I think he figured it out just a little bit better than I did as well. But this is the best attempt I had on, I think. So you're supposed to go left hand onto that then um, rearrange a bit to have like some you know heel somewhere right hand into that one left hand up into that one and then all the way to the top so i wasn't really even that close to finishing still had a few extra moves to do you can see we're looking a little fatigued um after that we had a fairly easy one uh, it's an orange climb which can be any amount of points you don't really know Oranges are just usually kind of like an X factor, so it could be um, a lowish amount of points or it could be a very high amount of points because usually they kind of involve some quirky moves, some more dynamic stuff. And uh, this one was fairly simple, I was just trying to get some extra points on the board and it was worth a fair amount. Pretty big holds and uh, pretty simple moves for anyone that can kind of do this sort of stuff. We're already a good like two hours in by this point and getting pretty damn tired. So this is the climb that I showed much earlier on and this um, after you know a couple of hours I came back to it and I thought maybe I can stick it this time. So I gave it just another go. We already know what we want to do. Get to that piece. Um, slap the left. It's a pretty bad piece that left. And then at the same time hit the right, hit the toe hook, nice. lock it in. This time around I want it to be pretty secure on that piece and go for the next one even though it's shit but know what I'm doing. Reposition just right with a heel hook and then twist in. And then you've got to get over to the top. There's another little black piece just before the top. And then mantle out. And uh, well, I was pretty scared because I was already very fatigued. And that's like my 10 or 15th go on that one. Very happy with that one. And then we have another really tough black problem. These have some tiny crimps near the end and I was pretty damn fatigued by this point. I think this is one I definitely should be able to do when I'm fresh and if I figured out the right moves. By this point I was uh, struggling to gra uh, you know, grab these sorts of pieces and it ended up making for a pretty disgusting fall. Um, it's hard to say or really see, but I, in slow-mo, have like a big sort of flailing arm swing because I didn't really expect to fall the way I was going to fall and it felt very unprepared. So I thought I was going to like, you know, hit a wrist or an ankle or something and just about die. And it felt very risky. Uh, I think that was actually the last thing I have for that one. Uh, this is just us boys. We we're going to take a photo, but he accidentally pressed video. <laughs> That's our crew. And the final photo for that one is that there. Brother, um, Shoda, Andrew, myself, and Matt. And after that, Andrew had his time to climb because he's in the open Bs while we're in the open As. And um, it was just another two and a half hour session for him. So we were there in total for five hours, just uh, nonstop us climbing two and a half, him climbing two and a half, and since we did our session uh, just before him, 
we could help out with various other problems and you know which ones he should do uh, for points and how he should do certain climbs because we are a little more experienced he's been climbing for about a year and a half and we've been climbing for five years now so we can still help him out and uh, that was kind of the goal of separating our sessions from open A's to open B's and seeing if he can get anywhere. Turns out the open B's are scumbags and they just... some really really strong people entered those anyway and um, they would have destroyed me and my brother even though I have previously almost won open B's when I was shitter. Much shitter. So. Yeah, the whole system there is kind of flawed as to how you can enter, what categories and all that. But that's a pretty tough red climb he just finished and uh, it was a good one to actually get I down for him. This is another pretty tough red climb which is just very balancy, very slopey. You gotta get like a foot up there, hand up there and then slowly kind of get another hand up there and stand up all the way to the top. I didn't end up actually trying this one because it wasn't quite worth enough points for me but I think it would have been very hard to complete even though it was worth a lesser amount of points. It's kind of simple, there's only three real holds, there's only one last um, move at the end there, sure but the it is very good. precarious to try and get your way up there. And it also grates your fingers, which is not ideal if you want to climb a lot, or these sorts of things. After that, um, the last thing I got is to show you that's what the 45 degree downstairs is like. That's the one I finished. So you can see, very steep 45 degree. Those pieces are very hard to hold. And then there was the open men's final. Um, so you can see there's everyone standing and watching. And this is the last hold of the last climb for the open men. And it's kind of just a big flashy finish. He just hangs off of it with his toes, feet. Pretty cool finish. Uh, this was the guy that won in the end. He is the best climber there by far. And uh, it's not even... I couldn't even compare to you how much better he is than someone like me. Uh, you know, beat me by 47 places, but he crushed everyone overall in any case. Uh, and then this is the guy that came second in the end, just basically hanging off that giant knob-looking thing. Thought it was kind of amusing the way he finished his. Give it a bit of a zoom and yeah really going in on that piece. So then we had a uh, one day break for watching that final and we went to a different gym for another three hour session and did a few problems there. So this is a, another gym that's in Brisbane and I'm trying to suss out this orange climb here that's uh, pretty tough. It's maybe a V5 or something uh, if you know what grades are and uh, I got it on second or third go or so after I figured out how I wanted to do the moves ended up being a pretty strong thing and one that well gives a nice showcasing of our back and shoulder muscles because it was yeah just a strong style there's not too much uh, like technique to figure out here you just got to be able to do the strong shit jump up grab that big piece and then the last couple of pieces here are a bit sketchy you're not really sure what you're grabbing because uh, it's all wavy and there's some bad parts, some good parts. And then you just got to hit that last piece that we don't really know what it feels like, but you assume is fairly big. Hit it, match, finish. Hells yeah. That's rough. And then brother's just showing what the angle of the wall is. Yep. It's kind of, um, you know, overhanging once again. And I'm trying to impart some wisdom the boys as to what I was doing and how they might want to do it as well. After that we moved on to the right hand side of that wall and there was a fairly tough black climb. We're saying something like a V7 probably and it's fairly long as well and brother said if I managed to flash this and get it in first go he'd be pretty impressed because he worked on it a week beforehand and he could almost finish it throughout that one session's um, worth of attempts, but um, he didn't quite finish it, and he knows that it's fairly hard, and I'm just, you know, talking up a big game, and he says, all right, you know, if you finish it first try, that'd be fucking impressive. So I gave it my everything, but I don't have that much endurance, and I'm still trying to figure out everything as you go. On your first go, when you're trying to figure it all out, you're using a lot more energy than you really should because you don't know what you're grabbing that well, you don't know the moves that specifically, and you're kind of just, well, you can see, sometimes doing it a bit shit. 
So I gave 110% to try and get this done on the first go so that I could flex on him. The end is still quite a bit further up as well. Come on. Ugh, lord, it hurts to watch me there. I didn't know where I wanted my foot for this last one because this next move is onto a shitty rail. No. Nah. And I burned so much energy doing that, I was just dead afterwards. And then we have um, the proper way of doing the climb. So my brother did manage to work this one the week before for, you know, a session. Did about seven or eight goes, he said. Knows exactly what he wants to do and how he wants to do it. And this is him trying to get it done uh, when the, we came back for that next session. And as you can see, it's pretty damn smooth. He knows his moves. He's got it locked in. And he's also got much better endurance than me, so he's not really going to fatigue too much um, near the end. Because he does a lot more uh, rope climbing, not just bouldering. And it's looking good. Is he going to get it? Slam. Mm -hmm. Not bad. But then I went back for a few more attempts, and this is probably my next best attempt after that. I've learned a few things, I've watched him climb it, I've had a few goes, though I am definitely a lot more fatigued uh, than I was to begin with, so that's not very good. But given that I'm doing the moves a lot more efficiently and um, methodically, and I know what I'm trying to do, that should help out my energy reserves quite a bit better. I'm not really cutting loose there as much. And all in all, with, you know, the knowledge of what I'm supposed to do, I was actually getting through this a lot better and a lot more efficiently, and I was not feeling anywhere near as tired as I was on that first go. I tried to figure out what I wanted to do there. I want to get my foot across. Come on. And I was pissed. I wanted to get my foot across to that tiny little shitter hold, And I didn't quite hit it, and then I slipped off of it, and it was not good enough to stay. I think I could have finished it, but unfortunately it was not meant to be. We moved on and then climbed for another two hours in another section of that gym. Lastly, all I've got to show you guys is a few photos from the comp that were professionally taken by real people, uh, not just by us. Um, so these were popped up onto Facebook. There I am, thinking about what I should climb next, where I should climb next. You are supposed to put in all of your own um, scores in via phone online and then by the end of it you'll find out uh, if you got anywhere uh, for the finals or anything. It's pretty serious business action on this big dick looking hold. That's the same climb. Full focus, concentration and effort. I think that's a pretty decent photo. And then one other photo on that red crimpy climb just sizing up that next move ready to go for it so that's actually about it though that's the entire comp that's the entire climb um all the videos at least uh, i think are relevant to show you guys uh we go every single year for this comp because it's the biggest one that um australia has i think for bouldering and it's uh been a lot of fun it's an opportunity to hang out with my brother and um other friends and uh just bouldering comps are so much fun to uh you know have a good two to three hour session of just pure pumping uh for you know your forearms and your mind and uh it's something i do recommend if you're into bouldering at all if you've started bouldering get into a comp at some point it does give you a pretty different perspective as to what the comps are like compared to just an average session you get a lot more nerves there's a lot more pump involved and um, well, there's a whole bunch of new problems for you to try and it really does give you a different approach as to how to um, tackle these problems because you want to make sure you're not getting too tired, you want to make sure you're doing things the right way and figuring out the problems in the least amount of attempts as possible. So with that guys, I um, hope you enjoyed the video. That was probably the last um, piece of climbing I've got to show you for the year unless I do another comp, 
or unless we get some climbing done when we go to ExileCon in New Zealand near the end of the year. We'll have to wait and see, but uh, yeah, that was some nice solid climbing uh, down in Queensland in Brisbane for the Boulder Fest 2019. I will do my best to video things every now and again and uh, post them on Instagram and Twitter. Maybe we'll have enough to do another video for YouTube. Thank you very much for watching, guys, as always, and see you next time.